Hi, my name is Dan Tran. Uh, so what do you decide to play? So I decided to play um, Brave, Prank Kid, DPE, uh, Souls, Pile. Yeah, this guy uh, 50 cards. Uh, I decided to play this because I believe it was the best deck. Just because it's just such a strong one card engines. And you can just combine with the other engines. And just back it up with hand traps and defensive cards. And, like the deck is just really versatile. Alright, let's get into the main deck. So for my prank engine. But uh, these are my kid lineups. It, it just you up for I only play rock, one rock just because, I, said, because, I mean, it's just the worst one to see. Hey, you don't want to go rock and under rock Exactly. And also, like, one is fine because you can always just put it back um, with all your stuff. So, so that would be in hand here. And then just do play. So these are all my names I play. So just 13 names. So I would go Centipede this into Dagda. And then the two engine requirements. Uh, you don't really want to max out on either, just because they just suck to open. It's better to search off the dual deal. Yeah, of course. I mean, there's the justification if you open one, you can always just search the other, but I just don't think that's worth it. When you want to just seek hand tops this format. And then my right engine. So, I just max out on everything because this is the strongest engine in the game right now. If you're not playing this, you're probably losing. Uh, this is cracks. The only steps are being quandaries. Yeah, honestly, you can only just do this. Like right now. And then I also played a Souls engine. Uh, I think the engine was really good. Uh, a lot of the times the engine put back like a DPE brick or just like any kind of brick, which was like amazing. Uh, it's also just a really good extender for Verde. Uh, it's just cracked with the adventure stuff draw to you. It also just helps you make dark, which is, if you resolve it this format, it's insane. That's a strong and then just <laughs> so at this point here you can two fusion that's neat because it's kind of bad. I don't want to play three. Just kidding. <laughs> or you can, uh, oh, we could play three. Yeah. And then for my defensive cards, I just play through this Ash, through Bell, through so, Ogre, through Veiler, through Droplet, defense. one cold. Uh, Activate this. My entire lineup was fine. Yeah. Bell only really hit like yeah, DPS and stuff you, today, yeah. but. Other than that, that card was completely fine because I played three Pranked Mirrors. Um, I maybe uh, did it. The last minute change I did was I cut Nib for Droplets, which I think was really good, like in hindsight. Just because like Nib yeah, requires you to have another card in Droplet. And Droplet can also work against Flanderies. Yeah. Uh, not always because sometimes they have a D shifter. So you can't activate Droplet under D shifter no matter what. But yeah, sometimes it does come up against Thunder. So that's the main deck. Uh, 50 cards. Uh, the map behind it is just like... The more the better. Yeah, and a 79% chance of seeing one kid. And uh, just like a good chance of opening the uh, adventure engine too, so... That's fine. Well, I'll go with the extra deck now. So i just play one Meow. I played three doodle. Uh, honestly, it never came up. I wish I kind of played a um, oh, yeah. doom yeah. eagle instead because I was testing it with it, but it didn't come up enough in testing. But it just came up a lot I'm not to today. One bow wow. One access. One uni. Dark. This card is just really good. Any deck that can play this should play it. Verde. Link Karibo, Link Spider. I played the Link Karibo just because it turns the um, Prank Gets Engine into Dark because Fancy's is level 1, the Prank Token is level 1. And then just the standard fusions. I uh, never really summoned Rocket Ride. It's just good for playing through stuff if you open the uh, Pandemonium, but it doesn't really happen that often. Side deck. I'll just play give each of these three draw, three token collector, three cross out, three cyclo, three evenly. Uh, I was just really afraid of a background matchup. 
Just because I know that's like the one matchup that can just like easily clean me up. Yeah, all those there can be only one. Yep, but the main decks. Yeah, the main decks already really equipped with it with the adventure engine and playing DPE. So just playing D6, it just makes me feel safe. So, cross out. Uh, this was the best card on my side deck. So like by far, uh, like against all three of the mirrors, I cross out all three of them. Which just literally just stopped them so much because they're all playing like every single engine that I was playing. So cross out's good for that. It's also just good for like hand traps. Just good in yeah. general. Play three token collector, three droll. Uh, I didn't really see these that often. Um, and against the one cybers oh, lich player I did play, I didn't get to see this card, so I lost to him. But uh, everything else was. Really good. Yeah, that's the deck. Uh, anything you want to say? Uh, I just want to give a shout out to my boys from Stockton, Dale, David, Adrian, Alex. Uh, they all like supported me, helped me with the deck. And yeah.